I'm Jorge Aguilar, superintendent of Sac City Unified School District. One of my favorite poets, Amado Nervo, wrote that we are the architects of our own destiny. As I reflect on that thought, it also doesn't mean that we have to accept our current reality as that destiny. Sac City Unified is a high poverty district with low student achievement and fiscal instability. And that is what doesn't have to be our destiny. Despite the trauma and stress of almost two academic years impacted by COVID, our district continues to make gains in student achievement. Our graduation rates have increased. We've seen steady increases in our A to G completion rates. Our financial aid application rates have also increased. And we've nearly doubled the number of students that have taken an AP or an IB exam. While I hear calls and support for continuity and stability in the role of superintendent, this cannot be all that we hinge our future on. The future of our district doesn't rest and should never rest solely on a superintendent. I'm honored in the faith of the board who unanimously affirmed my efforts and extended my contract to 2025. But advocating for and protecting student outcomes rests on all of us. And now we need to come together as a community and stand with us in our square focus on student outcomes. We envision and are starting to see this through empowerment of parent groups and the engagement of our community in our collective work. The next step is to turn that empowerment and engagement into holding me accountable for student outcomes. We all believe in the potential that each student possesses. We're all committed to ensuring that our students get an education that'll lead to bright futures that all of our students deserve. It takes courage to take on challenges and keep working on solving them, especially when there are no easy answers. Unfortunately, issues and challenges that our district faces are far too often viewed by many through the lens of being either pro-district or pro-labor. We have to end these paradigms. And instead, we have to commit to using a pro-student lens and maintaining a pro-collaboration commitment. I often remind myself when I use the word collaboration that the word labor, as in work, is in the word collaboration. So I understand that to collaborate effectively will require a lot of work from all of us. So let us collaborate to adopt a pro-student, pro-collaboration stance as the driving force for every decision we make to change the futures of our students in Sac City Unified. We know that we face new challenges as a result of the interruption in learning over the last 15 months and then leading into the summer that we have to address immediately. And we also have the collective responsibility to face the facts of our district's financial reality. We must collectively acknowledge that although we have access to new one-time funds due to COVID, it doesn't solve our ongoing structural deficit into the future. We have an opportunity to work through the tough choices before us to address the district's historic and persistent financial problems while maximizing equitable student success. We have to collaborate on a budget recovery plan that will improve our budget structure and provide ongoing opportunities for our students. And I believe that with a pro-student pro-collaboration stance, we can ensure the long-term fiscal solvency of our district while still putting the needs of our students first. And that with a pro-student and pro-collaboration stance, we will have the courage to confront our budget structure and we can consider and adopt practices, new practices used by other districts that are not at the risk of being taken over by the state. Together, we are the architects of our own destiny. And our destiny is to create a bright future, one that fulfills our vision of equity, access, and social justice for every single one of our Sac City Unified students.